Hey guys, Blakey here and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another tutorial for you guys and that is going to be on the Universal Render Pipeline. Now this tutorial is going to enable us to do 2D lighting in Unity really really easy and it's super easy to set up as well. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Before we do start though, I just want to say sorry about the late upload. I've been super super busy and stuff like that, but now I am back. So let's go. So all you can see in the scene, I've literally just got a camera and a background that is just called BG. It's just this little pixel art picture. I did not make it, I found it on the internet. So yeah. So the first thing that we are going to want to do, if you're going to want to head to Window and Package Manager, wait for Package Manager to load. Once your Package Manager has loaded, make sure to go to All Packages and if you have a button that says Show Preview Packages or something similar to that, make sure it is ticked. If not, make sure All Packages is ticked. And go ahead and type in the top right, Universe, that should do it and you should, it should come up as Universal Render Pipeline. Go ahead and click Install in the top right. Okay, once it's installed it should set up to date in the bottom right corner and that's how you know. So now the first thing we're going to want to do, well not the first thing but you know, go to project at the bottom or wherever it is in your scene, go ahead and click create and go to rendering. Then we're going to go to universal render pipeline and we're going to click 2D render up because we are in a 2D scene. Now that we've got that, go ahead and press create again and go to rendering, universal render pipeline and we're going to choose the pipeline asset. And it should create two more just like this. Now that we've got the Universal Render Pipeline installed, go to Edit at the top, Project Settings, and go to Quality. Nope, Graphics, that's right. And then we're going to click Scriptable Render Pipeline Settings, and we can choose the new one that we just created, which I named just the default URPA. Now that we've done that, head to your URPA that you made in the Assets section of your Unity project and click this little circle at the top right and change it to our new 2D renderer data. One of the last things we have to do to get this working is go back to edit, go to our render pipeline, go to universal render pipeline, 2D render and upgrade project to 2D renderer and click proceed. Now that we've done that if any of your assets in the scene turn black it is because there is no light in the scene and that is the effects we want. If for whatever reason your assets look the same, try re-importing any assets you have in the scene. So just delete it and re-drag it in and it should be black. And the reason for this is the material will now be our sprite lit dash default which is the one we want it on. Once you've got that and pretty much your whole scene is black, now we can start adding lights into the scene. So go ahead and press uh, right click light 2D and we can choose any of these five lights. So I'm going to go through each and every one for you. Starting from the bottom, so the global light will illuminate your whole scene as the same. It pretty much looks the same as it did. But now we do have a little bit more control so we can lower and increase the intensity just like that. You can see it goes up and down nice and simple, very easy to understand. What is cool about this though, we can also change the colour of our lights now so we can make it a little bit more dull or like this would be like a boss fight for example or I don't know like a dreamy type world with all of these different colours which makes it look really cool. You could do some really cool effects with this. But I'm just going to default this back to white and intensity back to white. I'm actually going to lower this just a little bit just so I can showcase some of the other lights. Now if we go and do the same thing, go to light, 2D and we're going to do the free form light this time. Actually no, we'll go point light just for the sake of being in order. So the point light is literally it will just show it from a point, uh, hence the name. And we've got some more settings that we can mess around with in this one. So for example we've got the inner angle where you can see it all, it kind of removes the light from the inside of the angle and we can then remove the rest of the light altogether from the out, outside. So you can't actually go any larger than the outer angle because otherwise that just would not make sense physics wise. But again, you could make some pretty cool effects of this. For example, with a street light, you could have it just going down or something like that. However lights work, I don't know. Or we could rotate it or something like that. We can, again, increase the intensity. We can change the shadow opacity, but that this only works when you're actually working with shadows. Whereas with a lot of 2D simple games, you won't really be working with shadows in that way. We can increase and decrease the volume opacity of basically the inside of the light and how intense it is from the inside. We can increase or decrease the fall off intensity so we can see how sharp do we want the outside of the light to be. 
usually this would not look very good unless you're doing like a torchlight which could create some cool effects I guess but personally I wouldn't like it like that anyway moving on I am going to now choose the we're going to choose the paramedic light so this one is basically we can change the shape how many sides we want so we could make it basically a circle or we could go all the way from a triangle to any kind of shape you want we can change the offset of each angle so we can kind of rotate each shape and all of the same settings from before we can increase or decrease the fall off change the volume opacity the color and intensity and now if I move this to the side next we're gonna to go to the sprite light so a sprite light you can basically assign any sprite so in my game all I have is this BG one and it will basically make a light that replicates the all the colors and stuff of that particular sprite so you can see as I drag this around it's got the it basically replicates this image in the form of a light which could create some pretty cool effects obviously for a, just a background scene like this it really does just makes absolutely zero sense and it looks pretty awful so I'm gonna just delete this one for now but you could create some cool effects like I said and finally we're gonna go to the freeform light which is a really cool light because it's nice and flexible if I move this to the side I can go ahead and click this edit shape button and we can drag these four corners and change this light to wherever we want so for example I'm currently working on a project where I've got kind of these beams of light coming in from different angles and you could uh, you make something pretty cool like that so we can make like these sunlights just like that if we like decrease the intensity it could you can make some pretty cool effects so that's all the lights uh, that can be used using the universal render pipeline in 2d but the one other thing that I do want to showcase with this lighting system is that we can use different layers to uh, we can you have lights affect different layers in your scene which is pretty cool so obviously I've only got one asset at the moment and that is defined on the sorting layer of default but if I add another one and just label this layer 2 we're going to keep our background to asset 1 but then say for example we only want the point line in the middle to affect uh, a brand new layer but not our background layer we could just use our target sorting layers and set them to layer 2 but turn it off default and you can see it will hide the light from our background but if we had an asset that was on layer 2 the light would be showing on that one but not on another like I said I'm working on a project that uses this feature to show lights on a blade for example but not on the background because the background is supposed to be far away so it would make no sense for a light to be shining quite bright on something that's supposed to be really far away but it's a really cool system and I think working with different lights in Unity 2D is so simple to do now so I thought I'd do a little video showcasing that on that note I'll thank you guys very much for watching this video if you have any more tutorials you want to see make sure to leave them down in the comments if you've got any other cool videos you want to see make sure to subscribe and like and comment and all of that stuff i will thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye